Careless Stacy, works for a South Coast law office, people don't realize she is forgetful, and careless. Her co-worker Sneaky Bob, is a kleptomaniac, and hacks into computers. They're in the office now, let's listen in. Good morning Sneaky Bob, how are you today? Just great. Careless Stacy, asks Sneaky Bob to watch her desk, while she runs an errand. Oh no! She forgot her purse. Sneaky Bob, can you watch the phones, while I run an errand? Fine. When Careless Stacy leaves the office, Sneaky Bob, steals her credit card. When she returns, she sees, she has become a victim of identity theft. She immediately cancels her credit card account. Let's drop in. Mr. Bank Manager please help me. My ATM card was stolen. Ma'am, we can cancel your credit accounts to prevent identity theft. Contact the credit bureaus to close any fraud accounts, and place an alert, on credit reports. Thank you, Mr. Bank Manager. Criminals intercept credit, and debit card information, during the card verification process. Hackers use a software called Packet Sniffing. It's installed at restaurant cash registers, or gas stations, credit debit card readers. Careless Stacy went home to go through her mail. Let's join her. I wonder, if she remembers to shred personal information, before tossing mail in the trash. No personal information is on my mail, before I toss it in the trash. Scammers, hire homeless people, to dig in the trash for personal information. It makes it easier for hackers, to get in your computers, and steal your identities. They look for identification information, names, date of birth, phone numbers, and social security numbers. Hurry up! Looks like careless Stacy has a virus on her computer. Her boss was notified, and he is calling Mr. Fixit to remove the virus. Careless Stacy and Sneaky Bob meet Mr. Fixit. He'll remove your virus and explain how to safeguard your computer with encryptions and firewalls. Mr. Fixit, how can a computer be sabotaged? Ma'am, computers can be sabotaged with a computer virus, also by phishing, and hacking into computers. How can we safeguard our computers, from being sabotaged? Ma'am, avoid the phishing schemes, and don't click on email links, copy them to your browser and then open the email. Become familiar with the new computer viruses, and malware. They are released all the time and install antivirus on your computers. What's an antivirus? Antivirus is software that protects your computer from viruses and other types of malware. Also, use securitors and encryption for emails and put firewalls on your computers. Mr. Fixit, what is a hacker? Someone that has physical access to your computer. Their motivation is to steal data and sabotage your computer. Thank you Mr. Fixit. I feel safer now. Oh no! Sneaky Bob was caught sabotaging the computers. You're under arrest Sneaky Bob, under California Penalty Code Section 528 to 539, for identity theft and stealing credit cards. No more hacking, and stealing credit cards, for you. In conclusion, beware of dating online, pyramid schemes and Nigerian letters and porno sites. Always use encryptions on incoming and outgoing emails and use firewalls. Beware of war driving and piggybacking while using Wi-Fi. War driving involves driving in a car, looking for Wi-Fi networks to connect to. And Wi-Fi piggybacking involves accessing someone's unsecured Wi-Fi network from the hacker's current location. Use strong passwords and safeguard your wallets, mobile phones and computers. Nice couple. That reminds me beware of dating online. There are scams out there. And it's not true love. If they mention money, or love too soon they're a scam and fraud. Take care, and be safe till next time.